Hey, what's up everybody? Giorgio Boloso here. Thank you for stopping by to check out this tutorial. Today we're going to create uh, something like this inside 3ds Max and with that we're going to use Arnold Render to render everything. Another example is that it's uh, something something similar to these these are all the renders that i i did when i was experimenting um yeah this before actually recording this tutorial so yeah let's just let's just go ahead and and get started uh so first thing first we want to do is we want to do a few settings change a few settings go to your renderer and uh, render setup or you can hit f10 to do that um change i'm just gonna change this to active shape and then i'm gonna change arnold and then uh, under the Arnold renderer, you want to scroll down where it says uh, environment, background and atmosphere and then change to advanced. Go down again where it says um, background, uh, backlit, change it to custom map, antique camera physical ray because we don't want to see the rays in this, in this space so we just want to untick that and then get diffuse reflection specular reflections and then uh so very quickly i'm gonna hit m on my keyboard i'm gonna get a physical sky in here uh, i'm gonna connect the physical sky into the custom map instance the reason you want to leave it at, as instance is that any change make in the physical sky node will automatically update in there as well because later on we're gonna uh, we're going to change the directions of this of the physical sky so that we can get uh, better water reflections yeah so for now just leave that as it is uh, let's now go ahead and create our world so to do that we're going to create spheres actually we're going to create four spheres create sphere number one very quickly I'm just gonna change the size to 90 and double the segment to 64 and then uh, put everything at the center of the world okay so I'm gonna duplicate this four times actually three times sorry okay so sphere number one I'm gonna name it earth uh, sphere number two I'm gonna name it cloud uh, sphere number three I'm gonna name it sphere number three I'm gonna name it stars sphere Number four, I'm just gonna name it Atmosphere. Okay, so let me just go ahead and uh, just put everything at the center of, very quickly. Put everything right at the center. All right, all right so there we go. That's all our spheres. And, and so for now, I'm just gonna deactivate all these spheres apart from the Get the earth sphere so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, begin to connect all the textures and create the shaders for this so for that we're going to go ahead and bring up the slate material editor and then in here I'm gonna type standard standard surface I'm gonna name this earth earth and then um, I forgot to say that I'm gonna leave a link under the descriptions where you can get all the textures but for this I'm gonna just drag the earth diffuse bitmap and connect it straight into the base color yep connect it straight into the base color and then uh, I'm gonna bring the uh, glossiness I'm gonna bring the glossiness map and connect it straight into the specular color and then lastly for this i'm gonna bring our normal map we cannot connect our normal map straight into the normal node it's just that's just crazy it doesn't work like that to do that we're gonna get an r node bump and then our normal map node connect this into the input and then uh connect now into the normal so with that you can play with the strength obviously the higher the strength the uh more pronounced the bump will be but we're gonna just apply our uh, arnold arnold property modifier for that to get uh, better displacements so let's go ahead and apply the uh the earth material straight away uh show into the viewport so let's run the active shade and see what we have yeah so we go up something already all right so let's go ahead and 
and apply an Arnold. Let's go ahead and apply an Arnold property. Displacement, enable displacement, use map, drag your normal map into the uh into this node instance again uh and then subdivision enable subdivision leave it to cut now clock bump up the iterations to four and then let's run the active shade again all right so you can see difference compared to the last render we did all right so um let's go ahead now and create another standard surface this one we're going to name it cloud Cloud. All right, so let's just go ahead and activate our clouds, our sphere. Right now, everything has the same size, so we need to change the size. Uh, we need to increase the size of the cloud. Obviously, the clouds are above our our ground, so we're just gonna go ahead and put a hundred and six. Okay, hundred and six. Bring up the uh, material editor, and then just get. The, uh, get the clouds get the cloud bitmap and then uh, let's connect the cloud bitmap into into our emission and opacity I'm just gonna quickly once again um, bump up the uh, emission size to two sorry not sheen uh, emission all right, so I'm going to color correct my cloud. Well, you can you can skip this stage, but I'm just gonna color correct my cloud anyway, just so it looks more pronounced. All right, so I'm gonna increase uh, exposure of my cloud. Yeah, you play with exposure. You play with all these settings here, okay? So for the cloud, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the clouds. All right, so let's run the active shade and see. Now, when you look at the clouds, like in uh, in this image here, it, it feels like uh, the clouds are floating in the air, in space. Sorry. So uh, I want to I want to make I want to make that effect. So in order to do that, we're going to apply the Arnold property modifier again. So let's just uh, clone this and then uh, yeah. So Arnold property modifier enable subdivision for go to displacement enable it enable the use of map and then drag this into this node instance again and then this render now you see yeah so you can you can see the difference oh hopefully 3ds max hasn't crashed <laughs> you can see the difference now is that these looks as if things are floating and all that it looks beautiful all right so so next part is that we need to create the stars just like again in here you can see the stars and everything uh, not so much from this angle you can see something there but uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and, and do that right now. Standard surface, rename these stars. Go ahead into our folder where the, all, the, all the materials are, all the textures are. Take this Earth Illumination 6K, uh, plug it into your emission and your opacity. Uh, all right, so when we look at our our star is is that the stars are a bit dark so we need to uh, apply another color correct node um, so that things may look a bit all right so apply another color correct mode increase the exposure something like two or something like that all right so keep increasing the exposure until you get whatever you, you want okay okay so so we're gonna turn our star sphere and then we're just gonna put it uh, the cloud where at 4.6 so or 104 put it at 104 so now we apply the stars show okay let's just run the active shade to see what we get all right, so I'm not gonna wait for the active shade to finish rendering uh, this, but as you can see, it's looking good already. Yeah, 
All right, so we're going to create the uh, atmosphere now. The uh, atmosphere, just like again in the uh, in this example here, we can see right in the edges of the uh, edge of the earth, we're seeing this blue illuminated light. So we're going to create that. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do that. Okay, so another standard surface. Uh, let's create this, name this atmosphere. And then to create that, we need um, a fall of node. Okay, so uh, this one, a fall of node works like a ramp node in R node. So we're just gonna go ahead and connect this only to opacity and then uh, we're just gonna make a few change changes. Uh, in here we want to get uh, something like a blue, blueish, blue sky-ish, you know, things like that. And then uh, we want to go ahead, leave it as camera, leave it at camera, and we're going to go ahead and play with these numbers. 1.5, leave it at perpendicular parallel uh then 1.5 yeah let's see what we get um not quite happy with this though um so i will try and um i'll try and see if i can put z minus 0 0.2 all right so this looks much better so let's activate our atmosphere right now and then obviously the atmosphere has to be well above everything so i'm just gonna put this to 1.7 1 uh, 7. So apply the atmosphere uh, so, so let's just give it a quick render and see how it looks all right okay so once again i'm not going to wait until the render is finished uh so you can go ahead and play get a camera get a physical camera yeah get a physical camera uh and play with that get something bigger output um, 12.80.7.20 and just lock the camera for now okay so you can orbit the uh, the, the the earth to get a, a good uh, to get a good image you know out of this thing you know if you feel like this angle is too dark you can hide you can add light you know to get a better look but yeah this is how i created the um all these two images that we've seen here this is how i created them using r node inside 3ds max obviously you can play with your camera settings you know to get a better you know you can increase the the uh the camera the camera overall uh render and you can increase the diffuse in here the specular you can increase but bear in mind that if you increase all these settings um your your render is actually gonna take this a little bit longer um but if you have a good computer uh, i encourage you to do that if you have a rubbish computer <laughs> don't even try it because you, you you're not gonna like it all right so let me just uh leave you to it for now thanks for stopping by again to check out this tutorial uh be sure to uh check out some other arnold tutorial on my youtube channel leave your comment uh if you have any questions uh in regards to arnold or you want to learn arnold just let me know and uh guys please i i would really appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel as this is really helping me to grow uh so thank you very much once again 
you can follow me on Instagram at all prosperity uh, so yeah thank you thanks a lot for checking out this tutorial today and I hope that you produce some better image uh, some better render than mines all right thank you very much take care and God bless bye bye